Hey, I'm making this uh, <coughs> video to kind of show an easy way to uh, clone a bootable USB or any USB for that matter to another USB or any other media. Uh, in my case, I'm actually using an SD card that I'm cloning the USB onto. Uh, but you can basically, this is USB to USB clone. Uh, for bootable or anything. The reason I'm doing this is my USB that I'm cloning right now is Recall Box OS that I run off the USB, but I have all my ROMs and stuff on there, and so I don't want to have to mess with that again. I want to make a nice backup or something, or I can let a friend use it. It's the exact same, saves everything. Uh, it's a perfect match of what's on your USB right now. And so I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So first thing you want to do is open up your terminal and you want to install uh, something called Clonezilla. So it's uh, it's not a very pretty program. Uh, the graphical user interface kind of sucks and it's a little bit confusing at first, but that's why I'm going to show you how to do this. So we're going to go through and do that right now. So add a su app to get install. And I'll have the I'll have this uh, text you can copy and paste below in my description. Um, it's not really going to do anything because I do have it installed already. I was just doing this for the sake of the video. Uh, next thing you want to do is insert your USB drive that you want to clone. Okay, so it's a so I inserted it. Uh, there's three parts to it because it is recall box. There's different partitions within the USB, the boot, and all that stuff. Uh, and then I want to install or insert my SD card or your other or your other card. So you can just insert that now. Okay. And that is in there now. So what you want to do is make sure that everything's unmounted. Uh, you don't, it, in my computer, I use a, a Lubuntu. It's a lightweight version of Lubuntu. Uh, it automatically mounts my USBs and stuff when I put it in. So you just go to your file uh, manager and you'll see over here, home folder. Here's my uh, three partitions of my USB. I want to unmount. And if your other one does the same thing, unmount it. Unmount volume. So that's completely good to go. So I'm going to close that up, go back to my terminal, and now I'm going to run Clonezilla. So I'm going to go sudo Clonezilla. And this is going to open up the graphical user interface. Okay, so this is where I want to choose. So I'm just going to go down. I want to just straight up record just device to device from a disk or partition to this. So I'm going to choose the second one. So I'm going to arrow down and hit enter. Okay, I'm going to go to beginner mode because I'm not an expert. And I'm going to hit this to local disk. And that's what I'm going to do. Uh, hit enter again. So it kind of does its thing. My computer's slow, so this takes forever. So the first one, they're going to ask you, what is the source? So my source is going to be my SanDisk. Uh, it's the Cruiser Dial. It's this one. I know that because I'm familiar with this one. And so I'm going to hit OK. And then obviously, this is my only other one that's not mounted. So. It's my SD card, or then in another case, if you had another uh, USB, it would show up here. Um, so I'm going to hit OK as my target. OK. <clears throat> so I need to uh, check, because this is a used, if you're using a used SD card or anything that's used, um, I would not, if it, unless it's brand new, I would go to auto. Um, and check and report the, fair, the source file system before cloning, or you're gonna get, it's just gonna terminate automatically. Um, if you're using a brand new SD card or a brand new USB that you're cloning to, you can choose this and it's quite a bit quicker. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this one, the FSCKY, the auto one. The reason it says caution is because if you're using a device or a partition that <clears throat> has stuff that you don't want deleted or anything like that, 
you want to use the interactive one where you can pick and choose throughout the thing. But I kind of want to just do auto because I'm cloning a 32 gigabyte uh, USB to a 32 gigabyte SD card. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to fix it first. Okay, and then it's just going to go through some stuff, ask you if you're sure, and you're sure, and you're sure. You're going to hit yes, yes, yes. Now, let me ask you again. So it kind of does this for your safety, so you're not... Just be careful, because you can really screw up your system if you pick the wrong shit. I mean, stuff. Um, close the blue letter. Yes, I do. And so you're just going to kind of let it kind of do its thing. And it'll come up with the uh, uh, progress bars here pretty soon. Uh, it's just getting its info and stuff and going from there. So it's doing its check repair for my other one. So this is the boring part. You could probably uh, fast forward through this. And there's not much else to say. It kind of does its own thing. And uh, that's pretty much all you do. Um, there's not much more to this. Uh, so I'm going to let this run until it uh, kind of sets up on the thing. Until I'm just going to let this run and the video run until it gets to where the, your progress is. Until it's actually cloning it for you. Right now it's just prepping everything. Okay, so this is it. So once you hit this screen, you're good. Uh, in my case, my computer is pretty slow. So it's going to take about... It's going to take a while. So it, it'll do this for each partition it's doing. So if you look... Uh, it goes pretty quick and now I have a partition that's actually about 28 or 20 gigabytes that's the one that's going to take the longest but, um, but yeah I hope this helps somebody out and uh, I'll post some other stuff I'm playing with recall box right now so kind of figuring out how to just make things easy for myself so if I find something good I'll post it anyway